finally, after two months of back order, waiting to be fulfilled, the Ducky 1-2 Mini arrives on the doorstep. Let's break it open, check it out, and see what we think. The Ducky 1-2 Mini is probably one of the most hyped keyboards I've ever come across, so I had to try it out. One thing that I really appreciate that manufacturers do is implement the same amount of quality in the packaging as the product itself. And the unboxing experience of the Ducky 1-2 Mini was exactly that. This keyboard comes packed securely tight with everything in its own plastic bag. Inside the box you'll find 10 additional PVT double shot keycaps in a random color, a high quality USB-C cable, and a neatly branded Ducky keycap puller. Now let's talk about the keyboard itself. The size of this thing is perfect for me. It's a 60% keyboard and it leaves me with only the necessary keys that I need for competitive gaming. And it gives me a lot more mouse room as well, so I'm not bumping this out of my keyboard like I used to. The Ducky 1-2 Mini's body is made of plastic, which if I could have it any other way, I'd prefer to go with an aluminum based material. But all things considered, it seems to be holding up just fine with very little flex. The keycaps are PBT, so they are higher quality, thicker, heavier, and much more resistant to oil and shine, as compared to the cheaper alternative ABS caps. I really like that this keyboard has a USB-C connection on the back, and despite some earlier reports about the connection itself being a little wobbly, mine seems perfect, so I'm assuming they've corrected this in manufacturing. Now I know it's 2019, nearly every single keyboard out there has RGB, and we've all seen the effects, but I'm just going to quickly blaze through these and show you which effects are featured in the Ducky 1-2 Mini. Raindrop, reactive wave, reactive touch, it breathes, radar, rainbow way, programmable colors, minesweeper, hell yeah. The included manual describes how to program the colors for each key and effect, but unfortunately it's kind of a tedious process and time consuming just to make simple changes, and as of this video there still is no software developed to customize the color of the keys, so any customization will need to be done from the keyboard itself. On the bottom of the keyboard there's a dip switch controller that allows you to move around the function key, alternate the caps lock key as a function key, enable N key rollover and a 6 key rollover mode. But for most users, default mode will be just fine. The Ducky 1-2 Mini comes with three levels of height adjustments, each with their own firm rubber gripping so your keyboard's not going to slide around on your desk. MechanicalKeyboards.com offers a free bonus just before placing the order. I decided to go the surprise me route and these are the three keycaps that they sent me. Not sure what they are, but hey, it's just like a Happy Meal. I'm really happy with the colors of the swappable keycaps that they sent. They fit in very nicely with the rest of the color scheme in my office. Also included is a Year of the Dog swappable spacebar keycap, which I absolutely love. This keyboard does come packed with macro features. A lot of them already enabled by default, but you are able to record your own macros on whichever key you'd like to use, but you're going to have to refer to the user manual on how to program those as there's no software yet available for this keyboard. So in conclusion, for the most part I do really enjoy using this keyboard. There are a few things I dislike, only because of my personal preferences. I still prefer Gateron switches over these Cherry MX Silent Reds as I feel the Gateron switches still feel a lot smoother and are more responsive. But give me a week on these and I'm sure I'll feel just fine. And while we're on the topic, let's go ahead and do a quick sound test. So as you can hear, there's definitely a lot less clacking noise compared to other keyboards with standard switches and ABS keycaps. So very silent, and that's a welcome change. So there you have it, the Ducky 1-2 Mini. I'm always curious to see what your guys' favorite keyboards are, so if you have any recommendations, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below, and I'd like to check them out. And that does it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you on the next one.